Good boy, I'm going to do this one without you, okay? Uh, got Braveheart the blind dog a new bone at Trader Jones. He's going to sit this one out and enjoy his bone. Doesn't matter how blind a dog is, he still loves his bone. All right, thanks for watching Balls Deep 2012 uh, AL Central preview. We're going to start off with the Minnesota Twins. Uh, you might notice a trend. It's that I start off with the stinkiest team first, and this pains me to say because I'm a big Twins fan. They're one of my five or eight favorite teams, but they're pretty stinky. And if it weren't for Houston last year, and this is the first time I've ever said, thank God for Houston, that's cesspool. If it weren't for Houston, the Twins would have won the, la the least games in baseball. But again, and Houston will be the worst team this year too. Oops, now I spoiled the NL Central preview. All right, uh, the Twins made the playoffs repeatedly uh, for the, the first decade of the 2000s, and they'd always go out fairly early. They never got a good pitcher after Johan Santana, uh, number two or number three after him, and then he left and went to the Mets, and then they, they kept throwing guys like Carl Pavano and Scott Baker and Francisco Lariano and just mediocrity after me mediocre pitcher after mediocre pitcher, and they just never got past you know the Yankees, basically. Um, I don't know which direction this team's going. They've got some young guys, they've got some old guys, they've got, you know, Mono and Maurer and those pitchers I just listed, and then they've got young guys like Danny Valencia and then left fielder Ben Revere. Here's a funny fact. Ben Revere, who stole over 30 bases last year, is actually the great-grandson, great times 10, grandson of Paul Revere, who yelled out the British are coming. That's a fun fact, and that is something that today's kids could use. Um, so again, if you don't know if a team's young or old, assume that they're stinky. Let's get right into Kings, uh, Crumbums, and Codgers, arguably, inarguably rather, the most popular part of this really popular show that I've started. Kings, Joe Maurer, catcher, best, best catcher of probably my lifetime besides Pudge Rodriguez. He had, he had an off year last year, missed half the year, hit under 300 for the first time in his life. I say this year he's going to not only pass 300, he's going to hit over 320. He's going to get double digits in home runs, which he has yet to do in Minnesota's new target field. Um, Kings, I guess third baseman Danny Valencia hit 240 last year, had 15 jacks, but he's up and coming. I think he's going to get better. I think he's going to hit 260. I think he's going to hit 20 jacks. Crumbums, this bullpen is garbage. Their closer, Matty Caps, is a nice guy. He relies on guts and moxie. The problem is when you lose 50% of your moxie, you need 150% or 200% of the guts to make up for it, and he doesn't have it. His fastball is right on the line. I don't even know if he's got any other plus pitch besides it. The bullpen is garbage. They lost Joe Nathan to the Rangers. Uh, their shortstop, they're starting Jamie Carroll at shortstop, which is really no different than starting me. Jamie Carroll is like five foot eight. He doesn't hit home runs. He doesn't hit doubles. He doesn't steal bases. He's not a very good glove. He's basically a really decent utility guy. He was on the Dodgers last year. The Dodgers, and they stinky. Carroll, that's a funny story. His name's Jerry Carroll, Jer Jamie Carroll. My last roommate had a blow-up doll named Carol. And I'd come home, and he'd be talking to her like she was a real person, like they'd get in fights. Uh, in the end, it all blew up, though. That's not a pun. He really blew her up. Uh, Codgers for the Twins. We're going to go with, and this, again, pains me to say, he's one of my ten favorite players. First baseman Justin Morneau got a concussion a couple years ago, sliding into second. The shortstop for the Blue Jays knocked him in the head, knocked him out, and he has not been the same since. This is a guy who hit 290 with 30 jacks and 100 RBIs every year for five, six years, and he's, it looks like he's about done, uh, and I'm sad to say it. Um, the outlook for the Twins is not very good. They won 63 games this year. I'm going to say they're going to be hard-pressed to hit 70 games this year. So 69-70 wins for the Twins. Balls deep. Thanks for watching.